Today, we are very excited to announce the Share Browser Workflow extension for Final Cut Pro 10. Designed to work perfectly alongside our Evo shared storage systems, the Share Browser Workflow extension brings a completely seamless multi-user collaboration and media management workflow right into Final Cut Pro. Let's see how it works. Once you've opened Final Cut and loaded the Share Browser extension, you can log into your server and start browsing media and bringing it into your timeline. So I'm gonna log into our Evo here in the office, which we're using to connect all of our workstations so that we all have access to the same media and projects. It's important to note here that when you buy an Evo server, unlimited licenses of Share Browser are included for free. So you not only get the high speed video storage, but you get all of the tools that you need to manage your media and even automatically back up and sync your files across multiple systems and even cloud storage. Once the extension is open, I can start browsing my files. There are two main ways for me to browse, in gallery view or list view. In list view, you can see which volume a clip is on, and in this case, everything we're looking at is on an Evo server. But Share Browser can also manage other servers that might be on my network, like an old QNAP or Synology NAS that maybe you've outgrown, but you still wanna use for backup. If you're just trying to find the perfect shot for your project, but you're not quite sure what that is yet, you can just start browsing through a gallery of all of your media. When you select a clip, you can preview it, you can see the custom tags and comments that are already on the clip, and you can start adding even more metadata before you bring it into your project. From here, I can add tags that might make it easier for someone on my team to find this clip later, and I also have the option to add custom metadata. These can be tailored to keep track of anything that my team wants to keep track of during a project. You can enter who the DP was on a specific project, who the client is, and anything else that might be important to your team. Now, when you're setting up these custom fields, you can enter predefined options, or you can just leave them as freeform text fields. And I also have the ability to use AI to automatically tag my clips based on object, scene, and activity. When I click here, Share Browser is automatically going to send any selected clips to be analyzed. This is really helpful when you first start with shared storage and media management, and you already have a large media library, and you really just want some basic tags that are gonna make it easier for you to find your clips later on. Now let's go back up here and add a description that might come in handy once I've brought this clip into an event. So you can use these to just describe the shot or you can also use them to collaborate with other people on your team and give feedback or notes on a specific clip. Now I like this shot, but let's say I want to explore my options and just see similar clips with the same tag. All I have to do is just click on one of the tags and keep browsing files with that same tag until I find something that I really like. So I can also narrow my search down from here by adding a second tag so that I'll only see clips with both of these tags associated with it. I can also refine the search down even further by adding additional fields like comment, file name, frame rate, or any other piece of metadata that's attached to this file. If you need to quickly share a group of files with other people on your team, you can add them to a bin. Bins are essentially collections of shortcuts to specific video clips audio files, graphics, or any other asset that you want to save or share. And anyone on your team can create bins using the Final Cut extension, the Share Browser standalone app, or from any one of our other extensions inside other popular editing applications. So this bin already has all of the clips and audio that I need for this project. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bring everything right into my event. Now, once everything is imported, you can see that I have keyword collections for all of my Share Browser tags, so that all of my media is ready to go and organized right off the bat. If you're in the middle of an edit and you need to find a new shot to replace some old B-roll, you can also drag and drop a clip straight from your Share Browser extension directly to the timeline. Now, once all of my clips are imported, I can also view my notes here in the index. Or I can go over here to the inspector and continue to reference them throughout my edit. And like all of your metadata, you can still use all of Final Cut's powerful search and organizing tools to make your Share Browser metadata available in a way that makes sense for you. So there's a basic overview of the Share Browser workflow extension for Final Cut Pro 10, the perfect way to make your team more organized and more productive in a collaborative, multi-user editing workflow. Let us know if you have any questions and please let us know what you think in the comments below.